You don't need drawing skills or any special effects knowledge. Everything you see here is created in just several minutes right inside Premiere Pro with the third-party plugin Sketch Video Classic from Acvis. Let me show you how it's done. Hey folks, Jordy here for Cinecom.net and Sketch videos are awesome. If they are applied well, of course. I haven't seen much plugins that can deliver a realistic sketch look without having to tweak hundreds of parameters, but you know, this one does. Now it does cost some money, but if you are on such a project, then it's worth every penny. And I can share a 10% discount with you guys. Just use the coupon CINICOM at checkout. More information about that in the description below. Also, there is a 30-day trial, so no excuse not to try it out. But that stopped yapping now and get down to business. We're going to recreate two clips from the intro you saw, one of which is uh, Kim, and she's walking up this tree. Look how awesome that sketch look looks. And uh, the other one is uh, Kim, who's blended with real world, you know, only she is sketchy and rest not. You know, she really loves sketch world and that's why she decided to just stay in there. All right, I'm going to delete all of the clips in here and drag in the first clip back to the timeline so that we can start from a blank page. And the first thing that we have to do is kind of prepare this shot before we can actually start applying the sketch look to it. And there are two things that we have to change in here. The first one is we're going to make an outline of all the details, all the edges here in this shot. And uh, that is done by, or you can increase the contrast, but even better, we're going to add a lot of sharpness to this. And more specifically, we're going to do that with the Unsharp Mask. So, so just head over to your effects library and search for Unsharp Mask. Drag that onto your clip and that allows you to, if I'm going to increase one of these parameters here, the radius for example, you'll see now that the edges get a lot thicker. Now ideally, I'm going to increase the amount a bit more and perhaps bring down the radius to 25 somewhere so that we are isolating those edges a lot better. There's something that you wouldn't do normally to sharpen up your video, but uh, it is something that you wanna do to prepare your shot for the sketch video look. And you'll also see why in just a minute. Then the other thing that we wanna do, you know, this thing here is shot at 25 frames per second, and that is just way too much. You know, you're never going to sketch at so many frames. That's just way too much work if you're going to sketch manually. So just like back in the day when we are watching cartoons, or sketch a video, we're going to bring this back to 12 frames per second, which is a lot more realistic. We always wanna avoid that we are applying a sketch effect to video. We wanna make sure that the movie itself feels like someone has sketched that and not filmed. So we're going to make it as realistic as possible. I'm going to search in my effects library for posterize time, and that effect allows us to change the frame rate. So just drag that onto your clip and very simply just change the frame rate to whatever you like. And I'm going to set this to 12. And now we can add the Acvis plugin to it. So make sure that you have it installed and then you can locate it in your video effects folder right here, Sketch Video Classic. Drag that onto your clip and right away it will take effect. Now, before I'm going to go quickly through these options, I'm first going to show you what the Uncharted Mask actually has done. So this here is the before, and this right here is the after. So you can, again, tweak in here if you'd like so, but as you can see, it does a drastic change to your sketch look. All right, inside the sketch plugin, you'll find, well, three categories. The first one here is a blur effect, and what that will actually do is blur out your shot because there's just way too much detail into it. Video just has too much detail, so that's why you have to blur it to kind of guide the sketches to the points that you want it to apply to. And that's maybe not explained that well, so I'm just going to show it to you. If I'm going to increase that blur, for example, set it to seven here, you will see that those edges are taken over a lot better just because of that, because the rest is all blurred a lot more. So that is what this does. Very important not to overlook this setting. Then the next one here is the sketch option. Here you can just change how your sketch has to look. And this can really go from a Van Gogh painting to a rough sketch that you're taking in the park. And you know what? The plugin also comes with a bunch of presets, which if you have them installed can also be found in Premiere right here, Sketch Video Classic in your presets folder. And over here you can find for different resolutions, 4K, HD, and SD, you can find tons of pre-made sketch looks. So you can either drag one of these onto your clip or you can also just tweak in here and create a custom look that you'll like. 
And those who like to know, yes, the Van Gogh style is right here in the presets folder. So I'd say just purchase the plugin or download the 30-day trial to try that one out. It's pretty cool. All right, going back to the effect right here, I can go through all of the settings here, but you know, Acfis has it all explained very well on their website. So I just say go to there or even better, just play around yourself with these effects and see what they will do. You got a bunch of things in it, like, you know, you can increase the, the brightness of your shots. You can, you can work on the edge tracing, the edge white, the stroke length. So all kinds of parameters to kind of change the look of your sketch, the kind of pencil you used, etc. Now what I've done is created a preset with the ideal settings that you saw in the introduction, something that I wanted to have. So I'm just going to delete this effect right here and I'm going to search in my effects library for that preset and I've created that in my custom folder right here and I'm going to drag the Sketch Video Classic original colors to it. And you know what, you can also download this preset together with the project file in the description below if you'd like to try it out. Now, there are two very important settings in here that I do would like to cover a bit deeper. And that is to start with the stabilization. Now, the stabilization, what that will do is change the ratio between the static and movable strokes when changing frames. I'm going to zoom a bit more in into my image here and try to have a look at the lines here at these buildings. Now, every time I'm going to change a frame by just uh, going one frame forward in time, you will see that every time those lines kind of change with every step that I'm taking. So actually this image is changing at 25 frames per second, but the actual clip not. That is moving at just 12 frames per second because we've set that in the posterized time. So we also want the frames in between to be still, that nothing is changing. You know, this is kind of fringling here. So we're going to stabilize that. And that is also again something that makes this plugin so strong that you have that option. So instead of five, I'm just going to increase that to 100, the maximum. And now you will see that in between, it's not changing anymore. And that's exactly what we want. And now we have real 12 frames per second, and it's not the sketch video, which sits at 25 and you know the rest of the video, which sits at 12 frames per second. And then the last option, which is also very important, is the post-processing effects right here underneath all the uh, sketch options. Now, you can also again choose to either enable or disable that, but when I'm going to disable that, look at the difference that you have here. Basically what we can do here is add more contrast and that is needed to create a more realistic sketch, but also to decrease all the details that we have. Again, you wanna make sure that you don't have too much details in your shot. All right, so here we have it, the final sketch look that we wanted to achieve. So with this clip, we kind of have an overview of what this effect can do and uh, the different options in it. Now we're going to work on a different problem. You know, Kim, she really doesn't want to leave Sketch World anymore. She just thinks it's way too much fun there. So we're going to mask her out and blend her in with real world because I do would like to continue in real world. So I guess we just have to go true like that as a couple, you know, her being sketchy and me being normal. So uh, let's head back to my project panel right here. I'm going to drag in the second clip. And what I wanna do first is make a duplication of this clip. I'm going to hold down my Alt key and drag that clip to video channel number two. And I'm going to disable the one below just for a moment because we're going to work solely on this clip. And what I wanna do is create a mask around her and make that track so that the mask follows her. So make sure that you are in the beginning of that clip, head over to your opacity and from here take your pen tool to create that mask. Click on that and that will allow you to create these lines around your subject. Now you can do this very roughly because we're going to work with the feather afterwards and the mask expansion, so don't worry too much if it's not that perfect. Just go quickly over this and close your mask, very important as well. There we go. Now in order to make that mask follow Kim, we're just simply going to press this play button right here. We can find underneath the mask that is the mask pad option. And once we do that, you will see that Premiere is going to automatically track that mask together with Kim as she walks. You know, if your mask is going wild, make sure to hit stop and adjust where needed. All right, so this looks pretty awesome. You know, it's following Kim just like we planned. Now the next steps, again, make sure that you go into your effects library. And uh, first of all, we're going to add the Uncharted mask to it, like we've done previously. Set this amount to 75 and your radius to 25. There we go. And then for the post rise time as well, the same thing again, we're going to change the frame rate to 12. And now I'm going to go back to my presets and I'm going to go to my custom folder where I have already changed the settings that I needed in that effect. So I'm just going to drag it as well 
do the clip above. There we go, now Kim is all sketched up. Now we can enable the layer below again and work a bit on that feathering and uh, mask expansion. And that is done by going to your opacity again, where you have created your mask and all the, the keyframes here. And underneath your keyframes, you will find the option to change the mask feather. So just increase that a bit more, perhaps play with the expansion, make sure that it covers real life Kim completely, because you know, you can either choose to stay in the sketch world or to come out, but not both. And that's already it. Again, you can go into the sketch video classic effect and change the parameters in here if you would like to have some kind of a different look. I do like the effect here of the black and white look on Kim with still having colors in the background. If you like, so you can also do something with the background. Just select that clip and head over to color and open up your Lumetri workspace, perhaps decrease the exposure a bit and increase the saturation so that there's a bigger contrast between her and the background. Perhaps the mask is a bit too white, so I'm just going to bring down the expansion a bit more and perhaps increase it better. Something that you have to play with. There we go, let's render this and have a look. And look at that, folks. Isn't it looking awesome? Sketch World is meeting real world. You can download this project file from the website as well together with the presets that I've created prior, but make sure that you have the plugin installed first. You can either download the 30-day trial or use the coupon Cinecom at checkout for a 10% discount. Thank you so much for watching and just like this awesome sketch video, stay creative.